what we have here today is a 1973 Honda CB450. Uh, this bike's an original survivor. I mean, right down to the uh, hand grips, completely original paint, exhaust, all that. Uh, 7,462 miles. Uh, you can see the gauge faces are in very nice condition. Um, the headlights in nice shape, not cracked or anything. The headlight housing. Um, when I bought the motorcycle, it was sitting for many years. Um, I had the tank silk, professionally silk coated. Uh, so the tank's been done. I put a new peacock on it from Honda. It's a Honda peacock, not an aftermarket. Other than that, original. And uh, we went through the carburetors and redid the carburetors as well. But this bike, again, walking around it, we'll start here from the front. Um, there, it's original. It's got the original tires on it. You can see that they should be replaced, but they're the original tires. The fender has a few dings in it here on the back. There's a couple dents in the fenders. Uh, the fork boots are not ripped or anything. The fork here, this one's nice. The other fork here, as we get around, I'll show you, is slightly bent. Uh, the fork legs are tarnished, the original. The rim is very nice, except for the fact that this lower area, the chrome is all dull right in that one area. But that's it. Um, if you're doing tires, you might want to do a new rim for the front. Uh, I figured the next person can take the bike to the next extreme if they should choose. Or you ride this and enjoy this motorcycle just like it is. As I said, an original Survivor. Um, original paint, stripes. There's some dings in the tank, probably three or four dents. Small, you can see right here is a small dent. A couple of dents on top of the tank here and there. Not real bad, but they're there. Working our way back, um, no fins or anything are broken off the cylinder heads. The nice original side covers with the emblems. And most importantly, the original exhaust. Uh, these bikes, the mufflers have a tendency of rotting out. These mufflers are in very good shape. They're not dented. Um, they have a little bit of patina on them. Again, the rest of the chrome also, a little patina, nice rider. It's back fender complete just like it is. The rear rim is in, in good shape. Uh, in fact, the chrome is very nice on it. And uh, working our way around, I'll get the key out. And the, the seat is in good condition. You can see there's no tears in the seat. And I guess that's on this side. This has the, I put a new battery in it as well. So it has a brand new battery in it. But again, you can see the patina here. Original owner's manual, I thought it was on the motorcycle. Yes, it is. It actually has the original tool kit too. Inside the tool compartment is the original tool kit in here. There's the original owner's manual. Right where it's been for the last 40 some years. Okay, that's that. Working our way around here to the other side. Again, this pipe is in nice condition also, not rusted out. Chain guard's in good shape. Side cover again is nice. Um, rubber foot pegs are fine. The ignition is originally right where it was from new. And uh, you can see the signal. The signals are a little bit yeah, bent. The brackets not bad but again this is an original survivor motorcycle i can't emphasize it enough um i also forgot to mention i i, I rebuilt the master cylinder as well because it was bad and um that's typically on these motorcycles these hondas can sit 30 years in carburation fuel and brakes and uh they're back on the road again and the caliper was actually in good shape i just cleaned it up and uh here's that fork here slightly bent not horrible but it is original sealed beam and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and do a start up right now on it. I was riding a little bit ago so again gas on I put it on reserve because it's uh, low on gas um, I shouldn't need to choke it now it, it actually takes a couple minutes to warm up and it runs very good once it's warmed up it takes a minute or two till it's actually warm when it first starts sit there and idle now. Actually, I was just riding it a little bit ago. But um, typically, it'll, it'll take a minute or so to warm up. 